Christopher Bernard Wilder traveled from Florida to California and back, kidnapping and luring women to their deaths during a six-week crime spree in 1984, earning him the name the Beauty Queen Killer. Wilder was born on March 13, 1945 in Sydney, Australia, and his first crime was sexually assaulting a 13-year-old girl when he was 18 years old. He was caught and sentenced to probation. Wilder got married in 1968, but his wife left him a week later after she realized who she was getting married to. In 1969, he moved to Boynton Beach, Florida, where he found success in real estate, and on the side, he began taking pictures of models as a hobby, which of course he used to be a total creep. Between 1971 and 1975, he was charged with a lot of sexual misconduct cases during these photo shoots. It was during this time that he realized that he could lure pretty women to his car under the pretense of setting them up with a modeling contract, and then he would inappropriately touch them, and that later progressed to assault. In 1982, he visited his parents in Australia and was charged with assaulting two 15-year-old girls who he forced to pose nude for his photography. His parents posted his bail, and he was allowed to go back to Florida to await trial, but it got pushed to 1984. And that's really when things went from bad to worse. It's believed that his first murders happened in February of 1984 when Wilder raced his Porsche at the Miami Grand Prix on February 26. A girl by the name of Rosario Gonzalez was there as a spokesmodel and she disappeared from the event. Then on March 5th, Wilder's ex-girlfriend and former Miss Florida finalist Elizabeth Canyon went missing. Both women are still missing but are assumed to be his first victims. On March 18th, Wilder met Teresa Waite Ferguson at the Merritt Square Mall and murdered her after luring her away. Her body was discovered on March 23rd. Then he abducted Linda Grover from the Governor Square Mall in Tallahassee. She denied his request to model for him, and he threw a blanket over her head and put her in his trunk. Then he took her to Glen Oaks Motel in Georgia, where he assaulted her, blinded her by gluing her eyes shut with super glue, and beat her. She still managed to get away from him and lock herself in the bathroom where she began screaming and banging on the walls to alert the other motel guests. Wilder fled to Texas. On March 21st, he approached Terry Walken in Beaumont, Texas, and she turned him down. Two days later, he saw her again, and there he kidnapped her. She was found stabbed to death in a canal on March 26th. On March 25th, he abducted Susan Logan at the Penn Square Mall in Oklahoma City. He took her to Newton, Kansas. There he assaulted her, and then the following morning, he drove to Milford Reservoir, where he dumped her body. On March 29th, he met Shirley Bonaventura in Grand Junction, Colorado, and the two were seen together at a diner in Silverton, where they told the staff that they were going to Vegas. Somewhere between the 29th and the 30th, though, the fun ended, and Wilder shot and stabbed Bonaventura near the Conob River in Utah. She wouldn't be found until May 3rd. Then on April 1st, Michelle Korfman disappeared from a 17 magazine cover model competition in Las Vegas. Wilder was photographed stalking her around the Meadows Mall. Her body was found near a Southern California rest stop on May 11th and could only be identified by dental records. On April 4th, Wilder photographed and then abducted 16-year-old Tina Marie Rosico. He took her to El Centro and assaulted her, but he kept her alive under the promise that he wouldn't kill her if she helped him get more victims. Now that Wilder had been photographed at the Meadows Mall, the FBI had him on the top 10 most wanted list from the second week of April onward. Wilder travels with Rosico in his car through Arizona, Missouri, Illinois, and then into Indiana. On April 10th, Wilder used Rosico to help him abduct a girl named Donette Wilt at the South Lake Mall. He made Rosico drive them to New York and he assaulted Donette in the back seat. Wilder then took Donette into the woods near Pen Yan and tried to suffocate her unsuccessfully and then stabbed her a few times before leaving. Donette used her own jeans as a tourniquet and managed to get to a road and she was picked up by a truck driver who dropped her off at a hospital. After a pretty serious life-saving surgery, Donette told the FBI that Wilder was heading to Canada. Wilder kidnapped a woman named Beth Dodge at the Eastview Mall in Victor, New York. He shot her and dumped her body on the side of the road. Then he and Rosico drove to Logan Airport in Boston in Beth's car, and Wilder bought her a ticket to Los Angeles and then drove to Beverly, Massachusetts, where he tried to abduct another woman, but he failed. At this point, he's wanted across the entire United States. There are roughly 500 FBI officers trying to track him down, and Wilder knew that things were getting close to the end. He stopped at Vic's Getty service station in Colebrook, New Hampshire on April 13th to ask for directions to Canada. While he was there, two New Hampshire troopers noticed him and went over to talk to him. He panicked and ran to his car to grab his gun. 
One of the troopers grabbed him and there was a scuffle and two shots went off. One bullet went through Wilder and into the officer and the second shot hit Wilder in the chest. That shot killed him. Wilder was cremated and his remains were sent to his parents. But down in Florida, they were kind of confused. Uh, they realized his estate was worth $7 million and he had no immediate family in America to give the money to. So there was a trial that happened in 1986 and they determined at that trial that the $7 million would be split up between his family back in Australia and the victims of his crimes and their families.